Talking about matter, and as you know, um, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And today we want to examine some of the properties of matter and try to determine what, how matter behaves under certain conditions. So you've been learning about matter and you've seen in certain situations how the mass is remaining the same. So we are going to do something different now. I have a beaker with some volume of water and I have Alka-Seltzer, one-fourth piece tablet of Alka-Seltzer. And I'm going to dissolve this Alka-Seltzer in water and see is there any difference in the mass, okay? So first I'm going to mass this before dissolving. So I put the test tube in this beaker having water. And also I take the Alka-Seltzer tablet, one-fourth piece, uh, in the weighing boat and weigh them both together and together the mass is 120.2 grams so the things that I weighed the test tube containing water which was uh, to be kept in the beaker for weighing the weighing boat and the one-fourth piece uh, of alpha seltzer okay so I'm going to remove this from the weighing scale and I'm going to dissolve this one-fourth tablet in water. Carefully look at this. There, is bu there are bubbles formed. And I will let you think about what gas is being released as this Alka-Seltzer is dissolving in water. So give it a minute. Just shake the test tube slightly so the dissolving process is enhanced. So here we have a reaction taking place with one fourth tablet of Alka-Seltzer and water. So we see that it's completely dissolved now. Put it back in the beaker and don't forget the weighing boat because it's uh, the mass that we got initially was with the weighing boat. So put these back, it is 120.1 and initially we had 120.2. So. We started with um two things and we mixed them together and created something new and we had a change in mass, we actually lost mass. So we started with uh, an Alka-Seltzer tablet here and our Alka-Seltzer tablet, uh, we added it to a container of water, so we're going to have a container of water as well. 
And then after we mix them together, we had um, some sort of gas bubbles that were created. We're not really sure what was going on there. And then we had the liquid in the bottom that was still there. Um, so we had Alka-Seltzer mixed with the water and then gas and then had a liquid left over, okay? So we're going to draw our Alka-Seltzer tablet. We'll draw a tablet here. It's a nice set, uh, definite volume, definite shape. And then we had our water in a container here. And it had a definite volume. Uh, the shape takes up the container. Okay. And so our water particles, we'll just draw uh, kind of six particles here. We had a certain mass of water at the beginning. Like so. And then our alka saucer we'll draw in another color. Uh, we'll call it um, green here. We'll draw some alka saucer tablets particles here. Okay, six uh, the green alka saucer. And so what we did is we took the alka saucer, put it in the water, and then afterwards we ended up with um, a beaker that had. Alka seltzer and water in it. And we ended up with something kind of leaving or effervescing off the top of the water. We don't really know what that is. Okay. So uh, if we if we measure the mass, you may have noticed that the mass actually decreased. So the mass over here decreased after the experiment happened. Okay, so we can't lose mass. The mass can't go anywhere. We have to have the same amount of mass somewhere. So where did the mass go? Okay, we know the, the liquid is still here. The water is still in the container. It didn't go anywhere. Uh, so we're going to draw the same uh, water there. So it must have been something happened with the Alka-Seltzer. So let's, we got our Alka-Seltzer uh, here. We know that some of it is still in the water because we can see there's some, uh, some little particles still in the water. The water changed color a little bit. We got something that happened in the water. Um, but some of that must have left somehow as a gas. Uh, now, it doesn't mean that it disappeared. We didn't lose mass, but the mass was able to leave the container as a gas particle. And uh, therefore, the mass of the system overall decreased because we actually had mass leave the container and go away. So we had Alka-Seltzer. We added it to water. We had a certain mass beforehand. That mass is still unchanged afterwards, or the, the mass appeared to decrease, but that's because we lost some of gas particles uh, that left the container, and then we had uh, less stuff left behind, and therefore the mass uh, dropped just a little bit.